It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Thank you to my brother-in-law for filming this video for me. Uh, we're in wonderful Andorra. It's snowing. We're on a chairlift. You can just show the chairlift around. Amazing mountain range. Pass, pass to La Casa, yeah? Pass to La Casa. Pass to La Casa in Andorra. And I'm going to be showing you, well, not my snowboarding because I'm rubbish, but I'm going to be showing you some of the bars and the pubs uh, of Pasta La Casa, it's a really lovely place, you've got to come one time. Far away. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Take these goggles off. Uh, I am knackered. I've been snowboarding all day, and that was the last one run. We wanted to do a little bit of footage where we came down the hill, and I caught the bottle. It never quite worked out like that. That wasn't 19 miles an hour, was it? I'm flat on my ass. I'm flat on my ass. Um, Yakima Valley IPA, 6.1% ABV, interestingly from San Miguel, uh, San Miguel, so there's a look at the bottle, I haven't got a glass, I wasn't coming down here grabbing a bottle and a glass, because uh, I'll probably hurt myself, but yeah, uh, it smells really good actually for the San Miguel beer, really really good. It's lovely and hoppy. Yeah. The, the hops are from the Akima Valley in America. Um, aroma is, is grapefruit, passion fruit, mango, all that kind of stuff, you know. But what impresses me the most about this whole thing, about this whole beer, is by it's from San Miguel. We don't get this here in the UK. Yakima Valley IPA. So let's get in. Cheers. Oh. That is the nicest tasting beer I've drank all week. I've been drinking Stella Artois because a lot of the hotels here have Stella Artois. Um, San Miguel regular, the regular lager. But this is actually quite nice. What about the Franciscanas we've had? Franciscana being very nice. But this is my first hoppy beer of the week. And it's really, it's really quite nice actually. It's grapefruit, passion fruit, mango really drinkable really refreshing in this snow have you panned you panned around haven't you have a little <coughs> pan around see people in the chair list so we've had a week here uh, first three days literally couldn't even go on the snowboard all of a sudden it kind of clicks a little bit and you start to like slide down the hill on a bit of wood strapped to I'm your feet. I'm not sure that's what you were just doing but mm. I guess that's what you meant. Yeah. So this is good. If you're ever in Andorra, where we are in Andorra, in the Pyrenees. Pasta La Casa. Pasta La Casa. Either snowboarding or skiing check out Yakima Valley IPA it's very good yeah Cheers. and this bar uh, yeah um, which is ski pass 83 pass 83 everyone calls it they got the outside bit there but a bit downstairs that's where we spent most of our late afternoons early evenings as we've come off the slopes anyway I'm gonna take this board off now because I'm absolutely knackered and I'm freezing. And I'm going to have a few pints. So what you do to take the board off, you just release this clip here. What? Release the clip here, get your foot out. And then you need to release the here. bindings. Release that clip. So what, release where that is, clip. what, wow. And then, and then, get back in the bar. Oh my out God. The snow, it's minus 10. <laughs> it's minus 10 out here, stone the crow.
and this is the best thing about snowboarding. Running a hot bath and having a beer. Oh. In the bath. Time to relax. So this is uh, La Bar La Bianca, where we are staying in the hotel. Um, this is a beer selection, so Heineken, Corona, Desperados. There's some interesting stuff here from San Miguel. India Pale Lagers and Yakima Valley stuff. Looks pretty interesting. Some Lagunitas IPA down the bottom. Lafe. Yeah, so there's some interesting stuff in here. It's quite a cool bar. And then as we go out here, this is, this is the outside. This is the outside bar. Where they light some fires and you can watch them snowboarding and skiing. It's pretty cool. For all that fresh snow. Okay, so a lot of the bars have music in. We're really struggling to find a bar with no music. So what I've decided to do for the time being, because I'm hoping I'm going to find some bars later on with no music playing, Irish bars, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, they're always boom, boom, boom with the music. I went to the supermarket and I picked up three beers. And we're out, we've got the, um, the ski lifts up there going up in the background. Um, so I picked up three beers from the supermarket. So you can see the glasses. This is just like two hours worth of snow here see the glasses and the beers so i'm going to start off with this one it's um by Estrella Dam. it was only like one euro 20 for a liter bottle of beer 4.6 percent abv so we're going to knock out three beer reviews so this is a screw tap or screw cap on this one i can take some of this back to my room later on and i got an Estrella glass so uh beer in the glass then A Ibica, I think it's pronounced Ibica. I think it's the, the X is silent, I think. Um, if you guys know more about that than me, then, then perfect. So, uh, beer in the glass, loads of snow everywhere. Uh, we got a one finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation. It's a golden amber colored beer, quite clear. Let's get the aroma. Getting straight on, really thirsty. It smells lovely. A, a typical it's kind of Spanish lager. This is Estrella being a Spanish company. Or Catalonian. I think it might be Catalonian, not Spanish. But anyway, let's dive in. Oh, it's really good. Really, really good beer. Just, you're up 7,000 feet in the air and I can't describe the altitude. I climbed a set of stairs, so I had to come up on a set of stairs to get up onto this balcony bar thing. And we're at uh, La Bianca's bar in uh, in this wonderful country. Um, but just walking up that set of staircases knocked the, it knocks the stuffing out of you. The the altitude it just makes you blood panting and tired. But it's so good to get a good beer. So good to get a good beer. So that's very nice. Crisp, refreshing, clean, nicely carbonated. Absolutely perfect. One pound ten, one euro ten a bottle for a litre bottle. Next beer. So, the next beer I'm gonna do, uh, th this is uh, an interesting one by San Miguel. That's, you've got an, you've got, uh, an Estrella Dam IPA here. That's 6.6%. So we're going to leave that for the time being. But we've got a San Miguel Magna. 5.7% ABV. It's not available in the UK. So I don't... Now it says lupulu... Lupulation. Three tempos. So I'm wondering if it means it's a three hop beer from San Miguel. It's a really interesting thing, isn't it? Here we go then. What you notice as well with the altitude is when you open a beer, it froths everywhere. So beer in the glass. Can't save this one because it's a screw, it's not a screw cap, so we poured it in. We made a right mess of this to be honest with you. Look at that. It's got a bit of a check pour going on here. Um, we've got 
a golden amber colored beard it's, a, it's like a six six finger head it's a white head but i tell you what what a surprise that is <coughs> what a surprise the hops i've not been drinking hoppy beer all week i've been drinking standard lagers and it's so nice when you have a week off hops to get your nose into a glass of hoppy beer it smells it smells tremendous grapefruity orange peel let's dive in cheers yeah absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic Really drinkable, really refreshing. Got a good body to this one, 5.7% ABV. You get this, hello. You get this, uh, like a medium creamy rich body to it. It's hoppy, it's a bit lemony, a bit grapefruity. It's nice actually to have a nice hoppy beer. And I'm very impressed with that from San Miguel. San Miguel Magna, really, really impressed. Me. So, the last beer. The last beer is the lovely lady in the bar there. Give us a bottle opener and these three glasses to review today. Um, Complot IPA from Estrella Dam. A Mediterranean India Pale Ale at 6.6% ABV. Green bottle cap. Let's get in. Hold on. Better open there. Hold on, I'm tired. There we go. Beer. See if I can pour this a bit better, is it? A bit gentler. That's better. That is better. Hands are starting to freeze now. Hands are starting to freeze. We got a two finger whitish head, amber, amber colored beer. Good levels of carbonation in there. Lovely rich color, aroma. Lovely, lovely grapefruit. Citrus, orange peel. I'm going to face the ski lifts over here this time because it's my final beer here in Pasta La Casa. What co I've forgotten the country. What country are we in? Andorra. Andorra. We're in Andorra. I forgot. Pasta La Casa in Andorra. <coughs> <coughs> if I don't make another video after this, I'm sure I will though. Cheers to Pasta La Casa. this it's got a little bit more sweetness than the previous ipa the magna from san miguel but you get that strength you get that 6.6 percent .6 abv you get that body that drinkability medium creamy rich mouthfeel but it's still refreshing but it's much more of an orange this is much more of a a lemon orange citrusy ipa again very this is very good So I'm going to rate it. The Expedia from Estrella Dam, the big liter bottle, decent lager, six out of ten. You haven't got to, you haven't got to go over there, don't worry. Six out of ten. The uh, San Miguel Magna, very good beer, seven out of ten. But I think this is the winner. Estrella Dam's Complot IPA, very good. This this is an eight out of ten. Thanks for filming. We'll go and try and film in some Irish bars now.
So this is quite an interesting part of town. You're never too far from slopes. You're never too far from skiing, but you're never too far from a restaurant either. This is like a, what looks like a fish restaurant. Uh, put lots of different paellas and stuff. Uh, but if you come around the corner, uh, you've got a great big Burger King. Uh, you've got the Dubliner, which we haven't been in yet. But me and Mal were in Paddy's Irish Bar last night. And we're about to show you that footage inside Paddy's Irish Bar now. There won't be any sound because of the amount of music that was in that bar last night. Um, but then you come around the corner and there's more places to eat and drink. Pizzerias, burger bars. This is called O Resto Pizza and Burger. So there's your pizza ovens. Um, all, because it's so cold here, it gets to minus 20 in the night. They've all got these like areas where you can sit inside in the warm and have food and, and stuff. But yeah, the, all of this looks really cool. And this looks like the main high street where uh, there's a shopping centre over there. Uh, another Donna kebab place, loads of places to eat. Pizzerias, Granier over there. Uh, uh, electronic shop and a big supermarket. I love supermarkets um, because I like to go and see what beers they got in. So we might pop, pop in there in a moment. Um, I'm just catching up with my family. Uh, places to buy shoes and trainers and bits and bobs. But it's interesting because you're so far up. You're literally on a bus for miles and miles and miles in the wilderness, climbing and climbing, and you're thinking, where am I going? And then you're literally 7,000 feet in the air, and you've got a town that's, where it's always snowing, and it's always they're always clearing the roads. There's a guy over there, look. With a, let me get past. There's a guy over there with a shovel clearing the roads and the paths for people to uh, obviously pass and not get snowed in. But it's a really cool place. It was a, oh, they got a Popeyes. They got a Popeyes chicken. Look at that. And a Tim Hortons. So we made our way to the top of town. And what we noticed is there's loads of like tobacco and alcohol places where it's tax free. Um, but look at this, you get the icicles coming off. It's currently minus 10. It is quite cold out here. Uh, another alcohol shop there. Um, but there's bars everywhere, literally. There's a rum and whiskey bar over the road. You've got a McDonald's at the top there. Uh, loads to see and do here. But uh, yeah, the weather's pretty... I'm not sure if you can really see it on camera, but it's really fine snow. Whacking me in the face, burning my eyes. <laughs> um, lots of supermarkets. There's a hypermarket place up there. And I imagine if you just go over the side, I imagine there's fantastic views when it's not so foggy and misty over the side there. But yeah, it's a really nice place, actually. Lots of apartments above. Uh, lots of people, of course, um, snowboarding and skiing like we've been doing, which has been fun. Yeah, oh, there's one place here called Asterix. Um, I'm just going to go down. Because I remember this when I was a kid. Uh, remember these cartoons when you were younger? And it was like it was like a. Remember these fellas in the in the in the cartoons? Asterix, I think it was called the cartoon. But yeah, um, there's there's a view of the town again with all the snow on the roofs. It's really lovely up here. So we just walked down this little lane precariously in the snow. Um, I got a pair of Converse on walking around it's quite cold but uh, anyway we found this uh, pista negra restaurant uh tapas hamburgers salads pizzas it looks really good we might actually eat there tonight if we find somewhere to eat tonight i might do a quick video of well i think judging by the family looking at the menu it's they're, look, they're looking like they want to eat in there so yeah might, might get a video in there long story short so there's paddies and there's the dubliner we're gonna get in you now hi guys how you doing you all right are you open? No, the party's open. This will open in a couple of hours. In a couple of hours? You're the owner? I am. Would you mind? I'm doing a YouTube video with the beers and bars of La Passa. Do you mind me running in and having a quick look around your bar and shooting off again? But it's not open. It's, not it's, it's fine, though. It's fine. I just want to show the world of YouTube the inside of your bar. That's all. And I'll come back later and show it when it's busy. <laughs> Is that all right? Oh, what a star. What a star. Right, okay, so this is a famous Dubliner then. <laughs> oh, I love it, don't worry about it. Yeah, look at this. That looks amazing. Pretty cool. So obviously, uh, Guinness, Stella Artois, Magna, San Miguel, 
and there's lots of bottles in the fridge. Uh, Corona left. I like these off a cup videos like this where you just kind of like grab. This is the soul of this place. This place is rocking. We can hear this from our hotel because our hotel is literally next door. And you can hear this place rocking until about two in the morning. Uh, there's another upstairs area there, but this is the famous Dublin, Dubliner in La, La Casa. Thank you very much. It'll be on YouTube next week. Okay. Just said real ale craft beer and you'll see my video on YouTube. Okay, Thank you very much. It's a famous YouTube. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Realist. I mean, realist and then we got uh, Billboard nightclub. So literally, I realise now why it's so loud in our in our hotel. There's nightclubs there, restaurants over there, and then there's a club here, and there's our hotel. There's our. We're on the third floor up there. Hang on, one, two, three. We're either there or there. I didn't realise we're right next door to a hotel, uh, to a nightclub. Right, so there's one more pub uh, which we're going to go to now, and that's the bar that we've been using every single day whilst we've been here because we get when you deliver your ski board, your, your snowboard, and your helmet and your boots into the locker room you get a ticket for a free half pint in a place called pass 83 <coughs> <coughs> pardon me so here's the slopes icy floors that's where we did the beer reviews earlier la bianca the rooftop bar Oh, proper icy on this road. Proper slippery. So you got our Marcel's there, uh, serving Guinness. There's Guinness everywhere here. Guinness absolutely everywhere. Let's get off the road so we don't get killed. So I'm out with Molly. Molly, say hi. hi. I'm out with Molly. Uh, I hurt my shoulder and I hurt my leg. That's why I'm not snowboarding today. The rest of the family went snowboarding and I couldn't make it. I fell, ripped my shoulder, ripped my leg and I thought to myself, that's me done. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a day of eating Popeye's chicken and drinking beer. The other thing, I think I've mentioned this already, is the altitude, it knocks me for six. I can barely breathe. <sighs> right, so. Here's a, here's a lift. I've been on that lift. That takes you over to Soldana, which is awesome. I haven't been on the middle lift because it's a red run. This is where we hide our stuff from, all our boots and our helmets and our boards. Hi, mate. All from this wonderful place. So, uh, I'm not, I haven't been in this bar yet, but they're serving Sagres here, which is pretty cool. Uh, Madison, looks good. But we're in, we are in, we are in. So this is our, this is where our ski place was, where we were renting our boards from, in there. And then, I'm gonna be really quick here and I'm gonna talk really loud because we got music and we don't wanna get copyrighted, but, Apparently, they're all in here. Yeah, yeah, they are. Hello, everyone. Say hello. Awesome.
So here's Mal coming down. This is Solana. Um, it's about a mile long. Sorry, go on. Uh, it's about a mile long. And she's just coming towards the end of it now. And it's a real big achievement, this one. A real big achievement. Here she comes. Well done! It's really taxing on your legs. Because you're on the backs of your heels. See your heels, digging in, heels, 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 and it really burns, it really dirt burns. Go on, go on, go down, carry on going. Awesome, awesome, well done, Mel. And now we're going to go meet Terry over there for a point. <laughs> 